How to bisect a segment. First, have a segment. Next, go ahead and get your safety compass and line it up the brass ring with one of your endpoints. Then, pick one of your marks along your compass that is beyond halfway across your line segment. That way that we can make an arc above and below, come to the other end, do the same thing, and somewhere those two arcs will crisscross. So, I'm going to come over here, beyond halfway, and pick this mark right here. I'm going to go ahead and make an arc up above. And I'm going to come down and I'm going to do the same thing down below. Now, you have to remember which hole you used. It looks like two, here's three, so two and a half, right in the middle by that bold line. Come to the other end. I'm going to do the exact same thing using the same hole. For me, it might be a little bit different for you guys. There's two and a half there. And come up here. Two and a half up here. All right, I have a crisscross up above, crisscross down below. If I connect these two just right, I will create a nice line that chops right through here. So, notice over here I have this this is a special construction. Not only does this bisect a segment, which means that it chops it in half so that this side is exactly the same size as this side. If that bisects it and these two pieces are the same, this also creates a midpoint right here. So the bisect of a segment also creates a midpoint. One other special feature about this is that this bisect line here is also constructed at a 90 degree angle. So, this, in this one construction, we've created three different things. We have bisected a segment, which means we've chopped it in half. Because of that, we have now have the midpoint, and we also have a perpendicular line. So this line going through here can actually be a perpendicular bisector. This is a three-in-one, very special construction, and that's how you bisect a segment create a midpoint, or create a perpendicular bisector.